As the NATO summit wrapped up in Romania, leaders welcomed Russian President Vladimir Putin to speak. He's been clear about his opposition to NATO membership for Ukraine and Georgia. The former Soviet republics had hoped for a green light from the alliance to start the process toward membership. Instead, NATO put the offer on hold. Secretary General Yaptehub Skefer says the two countries will eventually be a part of NATO. But I stand to be corrected if the sentence we agreed today that these countries in the text Greek, Ukraine and Georgia will become members of, of, of NATO leaves, leaves a shimmer of a doubt, not, not, not in my opinion. The Northern Alliance also okayed missile defense plans for Europe that call for systems to be built in Poland and the Czech Republic. That's another alliance move that Putin strongly opposes. Despite being at odds with NATO over some of its plans, Russia has agreed to a transit deal that allows NATO to ship non-lethal freight across Russian territory to military forces in Afghanistan. President Bush and Putin will travel to the Russian version of Camp David for two days of meetings after the NATO summit ends. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.